Hi everybody, Flat Earth Ed here. Hope you're having a great day. Just want to show you a little something. I realized looking at YouTube analytics that a lot of people only watch the first, say, five minutes or so of a video. In this first video that I originally posted showing how close the sun actually is to us and kind of sitting there on top of the clouds, going through clouds, heading off towards the horizon, which is actually our perspective, our vanishing point of our vision, it also showed this little, what I call the inchworm. Now definitely UFO is the name that would apply here because, well, I can't identify it for sure. If you have some idea, if you've seen something like this, maybe you've captured something like this on film, definitely put it down in the comments below. Uh, let me know, I'll pop it up on the channel here. Hey, do what I did. Go out, make your own videos, start your own YouTube channel, help other people kind of see what you've seen. Um, it surely was something we didn't see that day. We did see the chemtrail that was left there in the sky that you see. And as you kind of could see as it traveled across, it traveled normally. There were a few times that the spraying stopped and made those breaks that you're seeing there in the chemtrail. But generally speaking, it just traveled like a normal jet across the sky. Now, whether all of what we see up there doing the chem spraying is actually jet craft. Well, that's for another video another time. All right, here about that position, there it is. The inch worm. Now this is the original resolution. I left it in this form as the first pass because that way if you want to take it, analyze it, pull it in to Photoshop and do whatever video trickery analytics you can do to enhance it and pull it up to a better view, then certainly you're welcome to do that. I have very limited capabilities on this little sad tablet that I'm using to do my research in the sky. Um, if you get a better version, if you clean it up and it looks wonderful, if it can show any detail I'm not able to see, please let me know there in the comments below and I'll certainly post it here. I'm going to do a close-up in a moment, but I'm just going to let it do one pass in its original form. Now you're going to see it pass out maybe about the 5 o'clock position, about right there. It's going to come out from the, the face of the sun. It's still going to be heading kind of along the same path as the sun and the chemtrail in general. In the close-up, you'll see that it actually passes behind the chemtrail and heads away until it can't be seen anymore. I guess with the dark filter, it just kind of fades out of sight like the clouds that are actually in the sky right now, but they're not immediately being lit up by the sun. And as it gets further away from the, cam uh, from the sun there, it fades out of the camera sight. All right, let's do another pass, but this time, well, I love seeing that sunlight shine through the break in that chemtrail. Sorry, I digress. Anyway, let's go back and then back up. Now we're going to do a close-up that I can do here. It's not really great, but hey, I'm going to give you a better view anyway. All right, too far back. Let's go up. There we go. <laughs> All right. Now, as it pops in, <clears throat> excuse me. All right. Again, sending part forward, pulling the rest behind, perhaps warping through the sky in some way, plasma drive, uh, I really don't know. The way it darkens the, the coronal glare of the sun there, maybe it's some type of electromagnetic drive, because that is kind of something I'm looking into, that the sun, the moon, the stars are all some type of cymatic electromagnetic phenomenon. I really don't see them being 
solid objects, certainly not things we can go land on and inhabit and build bases on and drive remote controlled robot cars around on, but again, that's for another video. <laughs> All right, here about that position as it comes back out, it'll continue with its little inchworm type motion across the sky, darkening the corona there. If it was just a shadow, I don't think it would have that aura of darkness around it that it's presenting there in the corona of the sun. It's going to pass behind the chemtrail, and you're going to see it continue. Center it up a little bit there. Continue off behind the uh, after it passes behind the chemtrail, off into the distance. I'm still not sure what all these little flashes are that I'm seeing everywhere. At first I thought maybe it's just some glitch that was caused by the filter. But the more I look, well, again, maybe that would be better dealt with in another video. But maybe the little inchworm guy is just a slower version of what all these little flashes are. Maybe there's activity above us all the time that we just don't see. I know as I've been looking up, I've seen quite a few things that have been quite, quite amazing. All right, we're gonna do a different, oops, I see. There we go, a little closer view. Bring it in again, pull it over, let's bring him back. And this will be the last run. I know this is boring. I guess I need to write some music, huh? Pull out my guitar and start jamming for you guys while we're doing this. All right. One more pass with the inchworm. Then I'll let you guys get back to looking around your flat earth home and seeing what you can find. Definitely. Anyone out there that has that technical skill to enhance this beyond this meager close-up I'm able to do, please post it below. Let me know you've got it. I'll certainly share it with anyone who's interested. As you see in the close-up there, there's really a space that occurs when it goes from one spot to the other, almost a gap, but maybe not. Like I said, I'm, I'm seeing what I see, but and then that darkness, you see how every time it pops back in, it makes those little dark areas right above, right below, some kind of warp technology. Center it up again. It's gonna. I wish I could darken this somehow and pull up what's happening in front of the sun better. It's coming around again here in just a second. And after this pass under the chemtrail. We'll wrap it up. The whole point was I wanted you guys to see this in a quicker video and I'm droning on yet again. I just get a little worked up, a little excited about all this and I certainly want you guys to get pumped up and excited about it too. Hope it'll, it will inspire you to go out, look up, look around, do your own measurements, do your own videos, do your own just research. Don't take anybody's word for it. Certainly don't take mine for it. Amazing how it just kind of disappears and reappears, disappears and reappears. And those flashes just everywhere. Some seem to be heading towards the sun. Some seem to be heading away from the sun. So I'm heading past the sun. Now certainly some of this activity could be bugs flying by. We were over the water. Um, there are parts of the full length hour and a half long video where you see water splash up 
in front. I don't know if you can hear that in the background here where I live, but I have a little owl hooting outside. No comment there, but maybe do a little research into Moloch if you have some extra time on your hands. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. It's Flat Earth Head. I want to thank you for watching. If you like what you see, definitely thumbs up, subscribe. Share, embed, help yourselves. Thanks for watching.